Good morning, good morning. Um, so today is Monday the 25th. Um, and it is the first day, really, in a week that I have woke up and felt like more myself than I have in a while. Um, so I'm going to uh, go down to do my own chores today for the first time. Um, Keaton and Jalen and everybody else has really like picked up my slack because last week was way rougher than I and any of us anticipated. Um, short story, surgery Monday, put me back in the ER, very sick on Tuesday evening and like the rest of the week I did nothing besides sleep. Um, the bare minimum so I know that you guys have kind of been in a lull with the videos and I'm so sorry. But to make up for it, there will be a lot of stuff going on this week. Um, pulling cedars, we're AIing, we are um, banding and working those calves. We are also hopefully going to be spreading um, some fertilizer on some hay ground as well. Jason's delivering a load this morning of straw and I'm kind of on my own. In the meantime, I have some really, really exciting stuff coming. So. Stick around, we're going to go down and chore and uh, get the day rolling. So while I was out last week, um, several things came in and I'm just now finally catching up. One of those is new boots, guys. You guys saw how badly I needed them. So, new boots have arrived. And they look like they've already been tried on. I wonder if Keaton borrowed them. Might have. It's hard to say. I think somebody needs to mow my yard. <laughs> but look how pretty my tree is. The wind's knocked a lot of petals down, but spring is officially here. And the alfalfa is coming back. Looks beautiful out there, doesn't it? It's almost as tall as the yard. It happens. But we are taking the pickup today. Not walking, at least not this morning. Yes, we missed you. 
Oh, you got your fuzzy mane. Yes, you do. So today we're going to do the second part of the cedaring. We are going to take the cedars actually out, give them a shot of hormone, which is the um, lutealize, like what we've been doing with those cows. And then, so today is Monday, so we're going to pull the cedars out. Super simple. It's 3 o'clock. And then on Wednesday around 9-ish or so, we will AI the girls. Um, I guess I'll be pulling them in here, huh, because I got my mucks on. Okay. A little bit of a swampy mess. We'll get them. Hey, hey, come on, Mom. Right or Okay, so I've already got it hooked up. It's five milliliters and pull the cedar out super easy today make sure when you're doing this so you hit if you want it right on the tail head and cedar wise you just pull straight out and these are disposable ones so we'll just throw them away talk about one we are waiting for fertilizer to show up the cart or what well, we have the cart waiting on the truck to show up because we just get um, in bulk the truck comes with several loads and then uh, Jason and I just spread it accordingly then waiting for that so we got it all hooked up we did borrow a cart because ours broke last year and we just haven't messed with it so waiting for fertilizer I am getting to use the newer Jason's tractor. I guess I can't call it the new tractor anymore because we are getting another new tractor. Although I'm not real sure when it's coming. So I'm out of tractor. So it's down to using the 44 or the 6145M. Um, I guess he's decided to blade the yard, the yard, blade the road as we're well. something around here. It's never a dull moment on a farm. Oh, look, our truck is coming.
a 50 foot spread cart, so 25 each way. Okay. Snapchatting? Yeah. Seriously? Alfalfa. Look at how beautiful it is. It's a little weedy. Look at how beautiful it is. It's so pretty. Okay. Let's go knock out some more fertilizer. Watch the sunset come down. I really had no intention of uh, videoing today. I figured you guys had enough fertilizing yesterday. But here we are, we're gonna do um, fertilizing um, grass ground today and I'm gonna have to book it because other people are in line for the cart from Nutrin so just working our uh, booties off. We all know fertilizer is exp expensive out yin yang if you can even get it so pretty much what we're doing is the bare nitty gritty that we have to get on and uh, it's about half of what we did last year, which we put on pretty heavily last year. Thank, thank the Lord that we went ahead and did that. So now we are just going to um, kind of scrape by this year and get it done. So uh, let's roll. So if you've stuck around and know, um, kind of watched over the last two years of hay season, you guys know that we did not come back and mow this a second time. We ended up putting our cows down here on this ground um, this fall and winter to kind of hold them over as kind of a stockpile. It's really nice because on top of that hill up there, on top of that one, uh, we connect all this ground. So we can pretty much walk from the cows to our ground. So we hay that up there on that hill. We hay all this down here, but we are also very fortunate and blessed that the landowners will let us graze the cattle here. Um, I think there's roughly between what we rent here for hay ground and what we own for the cattle, there's roughly 500 acres in this area um, that we can move the cows just by poly wire and pull them down here. This grass looks phenomenal down here. Oh, guys, there's a turkey. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Can you guys see him? Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. <laughs> uh, so we do, there's polywire. Hey, I was missing that reel. So I'm gonna go across and get these other paddocks first. Uh, we put in this nice fence. Um, it's the PVC T post. I really like those. It is all, uh, it's not hot right now, obviously, just because we don't have anything down here. But as you guys can see, this grass has come back phenomenally. I, I think I used that word already, but it just looks really good down here and I'm really impressed. The only downside of having fence are, used to be lane, used to go right up there. Well, it's boxed in now. So I've got to kind of wiggle around down here to get to this one pasture field, whatever. And hopefully I don't have to uh, move that post good deal. So yesterday, where I was filming at yesterday was that bottom teff, bottom teff, it was teff, bottom alfalfa field. It's right there. And the cows are on the next, next one up. This is one of my favorite little creeks. And I hunted in this field last year. So Like if I broke down and couldn't get the tractor out of here, I could walk. I could walk. Not that I would want to, but I could. I could if I had to. 
And we have. We've had to walk from A to B. And it's about, I don't know, a mile and a half, two miles from the furthest point, point A to point B. Okay, so we are going to engage the PTO and get going. You all ready? It's like a sea of wildflowers down here. I don't know if he's gonna spray those or what. Or if he's just hoping this fertilizer knocks it out. I don't know. I'm not sure what his plan is. So I pretty much just made a giant circle today. There's where we fertilized yesterday. Now we're on top of the hill from this morning. They also graze cattle here, so there is manure already on it. Probably should have harrowed it, but you know, we're running out of days. Running out of days. And the weather just hasn't really cooperated as well as it should have.